In the case of the hospitals, the um, mothers just walk out and leave them. Um, in the case of the, the children coming through the police department, they just found in the streets or like in the backyard. Any time those biological parents can take you to court to get back custody of the child. No, I mean, people think no problem, but if you've had a child five years, which in my case, I have my child five years, and you've turned down the case, I mean, you, you can't come and tell me two years down the line I'm taking him when he's seven. I mean, if you know, we'll split up a whole family. Statistics from as far back as 1981 indicate that thousands of abandoned children crowd the nation's orphanages and charitable organizations. And judging from the response to our special report on infertility, there could be just as many childless couples who may be willing to give adoption a chance. Yet, astonishingly, only 32 to 36 children are adopted each year in Trinidad and Tobago. I feel that we've got in place a, a very a bureaucratic sort of system for implementing adoptions. Um, some of the reasons for this are good reasons, but the way that it's working out at the moment, I think, is counterproductive. Here's the adoption scenario. You go to the adoption board on the second floor of Salvatore building, fill out a form, have a medical done, an interview, and you're put on a waiting list. I know that a lot of people do their own looking at the children in these institutions so that they're in a position to go to the adoption board with, with a proposal, in fact, as to what child they, they could adopt. Um, but on paper, it is the adoption board that, that normally would locate the child for you. There's no guarantee that seeing a child here and liking the child means that you're going to get the child because there may very well um, be other, another couple or whoever that the adoption board already has in mind for the child. A child is found, generally a baby. The court grants you a fit person's order. You are on probation for six months and if the board is satisfied, you are now the legal guardian. The crunch comes when you want to legally adopt your child. If it's a, the biological parents have decided they are no longer going through with the adoption, then there's nothing you can do. They take back the child and that's it. And they go, the child goes back to the biological parents. They just change their minds. Because by that time, they may have been have grown a little more, have been a little bit more mature, and have found alternate means to support their child. The parents came back after us having the child for three years and said, they are not for the adoption, but they don't mind if we keep the child. If my wife and I die, the child who is under the fifth person order is entitled to nothing. He will have to be left in a cold. The law, however, is protective of children, and some adoptions do go through even if it can take up to four years. The law is very protective of the child. The problem is that the people with the say are not willing to take the flat that goes with giving up and sending a child to adoption and telling the parents you are not fit to take care of this child. And that's, until you are fit, we have to proceed with the adoption. So where's the block? In most cases where a parent has abandoned a child, or abandoned a child and gone abroad, the court is going to find that the parent is unreasonable in depriving that child of a chance of a new home. But if the adoption board never let the matter come to court, then the court is deprived of that opportunity to make a finding on, on the issue. When you get this situation where the, where the biological parents are against it, then the adoption board says, well, we're not really in a mood of going to court against the biological parents and having lawsuits. So we are not going to proceed with it. You stick with the fit person's order and we you sit in there. It was blocked. When we got the letter turning down the case, I mean, my wife cried mostly for two days, three days. Even now, she still, every time she looks at the letter, she, you know, it, it bothers her, it worries her, it worries me. I would like to see a new provision introduced to make it possible for the natural parent to give a binding consent at an earlier stage of the proceedings. At the moment, the natural parent can hold back their consent right at the 11th hour when the matter's before the court, when the new parents have, have formed all the emotional attachments to the child, and the child has formed emotional attachments to them. These children end up in a court system and they end up nowhere for the next 15 years of their life. They're just 
sit in there doing nothing, they end up in a system that ruins them. Because we do not have the, not only, I mean, it's not Trinidad, anywhere you go, there's not enough facilities to take care of these children. There are too many of them. I would like to see measures put in place which would facilitate adoptions instead of blocking adoptions. But should you decide to adopt, go brave. Don't be deterred by obstacles, simply because no one should be denied the right to parenthood or the love of a child. Ira Mathur, TV6 News, with a special report.